this video was long due, but I've been busy with life, school, and just being sick. Anyways, let's get into it. Right now, I'm fighting my subconscious to get out of bed and get ready for the day ahead. I love being delusional, thinking I have five more minutes when I know I'm gonna miss my bus. With that being said, cue my fifth alarm and hopefully I don't snooze this one. Good. Are y'all proud of me? I got up and I got ready for the first week of school because prior it was half days and I literally just transferred to a new high school and I'm practically starting from afresh for the millionth time. Hopefully it's my last. And when I filmed this, my classes were all weird, but now they're like okay and stuff, so... Yeah, I'll update you if anything changes. Here's a rundown for today's outfit. I'm a soccer mom that does Pilates on the weekend, and I start my mornings with a jog. As I'm jogging, I grab a Starbucks matcha latte nearby, and overall, Monday just give off that clean aesthetic vibe of the week. <laughs> into the building i'm heading to the cafeteria downstairs to get myself situated and grab a bite before my double period of the day begins as you can see i'm enjoying my lovely sandwich right now i'm in ap biology class for the first and second period and honestly today is one of those chill days where we aren't doing a lab but rather we're getting stuff done and we were just doing all our missing work as well as the new stuff she uploaded on google classroom and yeah, it was just one of those relaxed days. And here's me just on my laptop doing my stuff, you know, getting my work in. And here's what it looks like me like trying to be studious and educated. Next up for my third period was Spanish one. And right now she has us taking notes from the textbook for today's work to get us into that mindset of getting used to basic words in Spanish. After that, I've got AP Europe and History next, where we are just looking at maps from different regions of the world, from different time periods, all the way to the 21st century, to be able to conceptualize how the world came to be and evolved to what it is today, as of right now, and I can't wait for lunch. Speaking of, right after my fourth period, I've got lunch next, and it was honestly really lonely because I didn't have any friends yet, and unexpectedly, the meals are 10 times better than what I was having in my previous high schools. After lunch, I've got geometry honors, and this is definitely my most longest period in the most loud class because it's filled with 10th graders who came from the 9th grade academy, and they are just an interesting bunch of people, to say the least. Like, no shade or nothing, but like, they just have a lot of energy, and I wish I had that, you know, I wish I still had that life inside of me that's not dead. Almost done with the day, just two more periods to go. We can do this. Next up is my sixth period class, which is AP Language and Composition. Although I'll be getting switched out of this class soon, because I already took it. But for now, we're just going over how to properly differentiate context and exigence. And here's a better view of it overall, um, my classmates and the paperwork. Because uh, I forgot to film my seventh period class. And that's my forensics class, and it's a really fun class where we're not really doing much, so yeah. After a sweaty bus ride filled with annoying kids, I survived the day and made it home safely. Yep, I did it, guys. Woohoo! <laughs> Let's go. Alright, um, I got my Red Bull 
peach neutrine to keep me focused. I'm about to change to my baby Yoda shirt. I'm getting my work done and repeat the day. Bye.